All right. Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, we are really honored to have our two very special guests today. Um, I met these two, I think it was probably, I don't know, it was about a year ago now, yes. if I'm remembering correctly. And, um, you know, I fondly recall it to other people as the best sort of like business meeting that I've ever had because I just talked about superheroes the entire time. It was really cool. Um, so we have Seamus and Katie here from um, the League of Enchantment. So welcome again for joining us this week, you guys. Thank you for having us. Awesome. Cool. So as we do normally, we're going to learn more about what the League of Enchantment is and learn more about you guys. But we want our viewers to learn a little bit about you. So Sarah's going to pull up our our wheel of questions. Um, we'll, we'll spin that for you guys and uh, get to learn a little bit more about you. Oh, All right, you guys ready for your first icebreaker question? Sure, go sure. for it. Sure. Okay. Who gets to answer it? Uh, you. Oh, ladies first. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So oh. what is the best meal you've ever had? Uh, any Mexican. I love Mexican. <laughs> yeah, anything Mexican and I'm um, golden. Nice. That great. great. Seamus, do you want to answer the same question or do you want a new question? A new one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, hopefully you don't get the same question that has happened to us before. Yes. Okay, what's a TV show you're currently watching? I just started watching Titans, actually. Um, the kind of the sidekicks team up of all the DC superheroes. And it's, oh, uh, very cool. Yeah. I highly yeah. recommend it. <laughs> Good choice. Well, thank you guys. Okay, so um, we'll move into our first question for you today um and that is just we kind of wanted to know a little bit more about what is the mission of the league of enchantment so the mission of the league of enchantment we are a cosplay charity group um that means we dress up as superheroes princesses star wars characters and we visit kids in hospitals work with uh, places like small talk american cancer society um, and just to bring joy and smiles to kids' faces and kind of lift the burden of uh, just everyday life that they deal with and the pressures that are unfortunately put on little kids and, and let them escape to a fantasy world for a little while. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. I'm sure awesome. it brings a lot of joy to a lot of kids who you come in contact with. Yeah. yeah. Do you, and now I know you guys dress up as like lots of different characters. I think I was first introduced to you both as Batman and Wonder Woman, but since I've gotten to know you a little bit better and follow the league, you guys dress up as lots of different characters. So who are some of the people that um, you guys cosplay and like maybe who is your favorite one that you get to, well, my favorite, to be? Yeah, my, my favorite one's Wonder Woman. I, I'm Wonder Woman 90. Nine percent of the time, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and then every so often I'll paint myself green and I'll be She-Hulk. Um, <laughs> or yeah, and then uh, Maleficent is the other one that I've done, and that's that's about it for me. Yeah. Um, I go I, well. Batman is my primary one for hospital visits. Actually, the only one I've done mm -hmm. for hospital visits um, and hospice visits as well. Mm -hmm. But I also do Deadpool, uh, which is fun because it's kind of opposite end of the spectrum. Um, I've also jumped into Space Ghost, which has turned into a weird thing where we actually film a 30 minute uh, essentially interview show, uh, Space Ghost interviewing celebrities. So we interview them at cons. It's all comedic. It's goofy. It's completely weird. Um, and actually Katie cosplayed as Space Ghost's mom at the last con we were at in fun. order to get Space Ghost off of the couch and out of her basement and married. So that was interesting. So we did a Space Ghost dating show. Um, but I've also done other characters like Jurassic Park. I had Iron Man, I had Captain America, and a few others. So I, I jumped a lot. Yes, that's awesome. I highly recommend the, the Space Ghost interviews. They are <laughs> super cool. I watched several of them. They're awesome. Um, 
So we know that, you know, like small talk, you guys are impacted by everything that's going on with COVID. Um, and it's really limiting, certainly, what you guys can do as far as hospital visits and things like that. But what are you guys doing? I know, you know, I've seen a lot of the great stuff that you guys are doing, but I was hoping that you'd share some of the things that you're doing to still, you know, reach out to those kids that you guys normally serve and what kind of things you've been doing to make sure you're still present and, and helping kids. Yeah, so well, once COVID hit, we couldn't do hospital visits. We had, we'd actually done one the week before, mm -hmm. um, and then suddenly everything got cut off. We had tons of cancellations because of that, and we essentially had to redirect our energies. You know, we've been you know, doing outreach packages, and then we've been we started out aiming for Mid Michigan and Michigan itself, but now we've shipped all the way to Alaska. We've shipped to Air Force bases. We we're all over the place. Um, mm -hmm. So nationally, it's going all over, and we get just the most amazing pictures back from families with these kids opening them up and just seeing somebody, you know, reaching out to them. It's pretty incredible. So we've that's that's what we've basically been doing. Yeah, lots of those. We spend our Wednesday afternoon stuffing care packages, and yep. then the weekends trying to hit up like every dollar store, every Walmart, every Target we can. Myers. Myers, Myers became a huge sponsor for us. Um, we had cleared out so many Dollar Trees around here that uh, we had to head to Grand Rapids and clear out the ones in Grand Rapids. <laughs> yeah, it's been yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Um, the people that have stepped up as well to, to assist us with this has been, it's been kind of heartwarming to see with Myers. They've thrown down numerous times to assist us in purchasing just helping us in so many ways just from that company alone, much less all the other smaller companies that have thrown in to help us with this project. And it's, it's been such a blessing. Yeah. That's amazing. Are there are there ways that, you know, just individual regular old citizens of <laughs> Gotham City or wherever can uh, help out? Uh, we've gotten a lot of donations. Um, so not only uh, monetary, but also package wise, like Chase Banks, put out a toy drive to all of their employees and they're shipping us a box from Amazon, a box from wherever of toys that would fit our superheroes, mm -hmm. princesses, et cetera. And then we disperse those into the outreach packages. Yeah. So yeah, there are ways for others to help us out with it. Awesome. That's great. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. All right, Megan, I think you're up. Yeah. Um, so my question was, can you share a story or um, some kind of impact that you and your team have had on a child or that um, a child has had on you during the times that you've been serving the community? Good question. Uh, yeah, um, I can tell you about a kid that impacted us and that we helped impact their family. Um, last September, we were uh, reached out to by a little kid that actually uh, did a birthday fundraiser mm -hmm. for us the year before. His mom reached out to us and said, hey, I really want you guys to meet this one little boy. He has DIPG, which is brain cancer of the, the, the brain stem. Um, and he was given nine months to live and he was on month seven. And um, so myself, Seamus, uh, your daughter, and yep. then our Superman all went out to visit him. We brought toys. Um, and he started off being really shy and quiet and timid, but by the end of it, he had uh, tied up Superman with my lasso and uh, was shooting Nerf guns at, at Superman. He was not a fan of Superman. No, so, uh, no. yeah. So um, we loved meeting him that one time, but then we were invited back. He had a superhero party. And Seamus and I went again, um, and we brought this huge guy um, from Pennsylvania. He was in town for Comic-Con. Um, he and Peyton love the Hulk, so we brought the Peyton, Hulk. The Hulk, and uh, again, he wanted to tie up Superman, we'll or no, he tied Hulk. up the Hulk because Superman yeah. wasn't there. Yeah, he tied up the Hulk. Um, but we could see from the first visit to the second visit how much it had started to affect him, and that was really tough. And then um, we wanted to see him again. We wanted to make sure that that wasn't our last time to see him. So we put together a huge. Uh, caroling we reached out to every single member of the league we have 90 members of the league we got uh over a third of them to show up um, for, caroling. for caroling we contacted the local police and fire said hey it'd be really cool if you guys could bring a fire truck or a police car out well Seamus got there first once we set this all up 
and it was the week before Thanksgiving. Um, and he called me and he's like, you're not going to believe how many cars are here. There was five fire trucks by the when time got he there. got there. Five. And four police cars by the time I got there. No there was two more pulling in behind me. We had nine fire trucks, two ambulances, five or six cop cars, and yep. then some other public safety cars. Um, so we loaded for up for boy. one little boy. Um, so we loaded everybody up in the police cars and the fire trucks. We headed on over, parked about a block away from his house. We all unloaded and we walked all the way to his house and the sirens all were blaring. They wanted to make sure everyone knew that we were coming and some neighbors were coming out. Visualize this. You've got superheroes, princesses, furries, yes. fire trucks, one police car in the front behind all of the superheroes, fire trucks. Mm -hmm. Some of the fire trucks have princesses with giant dresses in them, mm -hmm. all coming down a rural or a secondary street, mm -hmm. like a city block. Yeah. Lights on. Yep. Sirens, Sirens on. People coming out. It was it was it was a beautiful day for November. Yes. Beautiful Perfect. day. Perfect day for November. And so we get there and um, we give caroling. We brought presents to make sure that he had Christmas. Um, we brought food Ooh. for Thanksgiving. Uh, we brought a cake for his mom. It happened to be her birthday. Um, and we we sang and we played with him and we took pictures. Um, and uh, that was unfortunately the last time we, we saw him. Alive. Alive. Uh, Seamus and I were asked to be at the funeral afterwards. Uh, he died three weeks later. Um, and uh, we were pallbearers for that. And, uh, but yeah, he, his family's kind of adopted us. Mm -hmm. Even now, yeah, we're that. still keeping contact with them. Um, and uh, yeah, Peyton is, Peyton, someone that the league is never going to forget. And, um, and yeah, I think we will forever be part of uh, his family too. The the honor to be on that casket with members of the Michigan State Police Department, you know, to, to walk through the 21 gun salute, you know, it, it was just, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. It got to be, I was on the casket as Batman. Another member was on the other side as Captain America and Katie got to be the rear as Wonder Woman, and it, it was astounding. Mm -hmm. Nothing like we thought it would be. Mm -hmm. no. It was pretty incredible. Yeah. That's really awesome to be able to make such an impact on even just one life that you're telling us about, and to be able to show so much support for a family and to become part of somebody else's family and for, for them to become part of yours is really incredible too. And it's awesome that we have something like this in, in the community to be able to help so many different people and to to bring superheroes and princesses to life and have them here with with everybody is fantastic. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. So our last question actually um, when I had reached out to you Seamus about you and Katie being on it kind of sparked in my mind like we should have like a regular question that we ask and it was it, it kind of originated from you guys because you guys dress up as superheroes <laughs> um so and you know there's been so much talk i think especially now about you know what is a hero and what makes a hero because there are people you know all of us are having to make sacrifices um you know during this time so we just wanted to hear from you guys um you know what it means to be a hero to you or what that word means to you um, I always go back to Mr. Rogers. He always said to look for the helpers. Mm -hmm. In a time of crisis, in a time of need, look for the helpers. Those to me are the heroes. The guy who runs towards the fire to save somebody, the, the person who gets out of their car to, to help whomever. I, I always look for the helpers and I've always felt that that's where I should be. And that's what I teach my kids is always help. Whether it's the lady who needs groceries put in her, trunk of her car to helping somebody with a tire to reaching out to that kid in the hospital be the helper just always be the helper and and that to me is always meant you become the hero 
It's not the suit. It's not any of that. It's the actions. It's what we do with what we're given. That's what it means to me. I don't think I can add any more to that. He summed it up. <laughs> All right, never mind. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, you know, how can people, if they want to get involved with the league or help out with any projects, how can they um, reach out to you guys? Uh, so on our Facebook page is probably the easiest way to communicate. You can message us through there. Um, you can also send us an email, uh, leagueofenchantment at gmail.com. Um, we're always looking for new toys, new uh, craft stuff for kids, um, stuff for the care packages, but also donations to help uh, with the shipping cost of it as well. And members. Um, yeah. Not all of our members suit up. We have behind the scenes volunteers that help us with organization, paperwork, delivery, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, also running booths at like Comic Cons and things like that. So, you know, we need help. We always need help. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks again so much. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon, I'm sure. Awesome. Well, thank thank you. you. Thanks, guys. See ya. Yep, see ya.